Here's what you need to know before you go. I'm Mary Calvey. And I'm Cindy Hsu. It's St. Patrick's Day. There's just four hours to go until the kickoff of New York's annual parade, the biggest celebration in the world. Around a quarter million marchers will walk the route, with another two million lining the sidewalks along Fifth Avenue in Midtown. And the festivities getting underway right now with a pre-parade breakfast taking place at the Fig and Whistle Pub in Midtown, where parade organizers and dignitaries are fueling up on eggs and Irish bacon before the big day ahead. March Madness continues right here on CBS2 today, and it should be a great day after some major upsets yesterday. The next round starts today at 12:15. Stay with CBS2 to watch the games live and analysis starting on CBS2 News at 5 p.m. Well, let's get you a final check of the first alert for. Forecast. How's it looking for the parade, Elise? Honestly, it's looking pretty good. Even though we've got some rain off to our west, things in the city are looking pretty good this morning. We do have quite a few clouds that will stick around, but overall, as skies get lighter, not bad. Taking a live look from our camera atop the Empire State Building, we've got 48 degrees right now, so it's certainly mild for this time of morning. This is the wet weather that I'm referencing to our west. Certainly, we're uh, seeing a little bit of wet weather for some of our northwest suburbs, but this system is not holding together too well as it approaches New York City, so we will see the clouds and probably not much of the rain. It's possible to see a little drizzle today and certainly some stray showers later in the afternoon. So grabbing the umbrella is a good idea before heading out the door. Some of the clouds will stick around all day. At best, at best, we'll see partly sunny skies, so a little bit of filtered sunshine at times, and a high today of 59 degrees on the St. Patrick's Day. For the parade, I mean, really honestly feeling fairly lucky about the conditions. As we head into tomorrow, it will be a little bit cooler, mostly sunny and 53 degrees for your Saturday, but it will be breezy, so keep that in mind. And then downright blustery on Sunday. We get a brief shot of cold air. We'll see a high of only 42 degrees with the wind. It will feel like the 30s on Sunday. And then Monday, well, spring begins. The weather that follows will be spring-like in the low and mid-50s. Mary, Cindy, 